What's up guys? Hola. I thought he called O Sharad Maisuma Base. I feel like I'm like your tour guide, everything Brazilian, right? We did uh we did music videos. Yeah, we did the YouTube stuff and yeah. now and now some comida, some <laughs> food. Yes. My favorite thing. So um, I just went to the Brazilian, it's like a little supermarket, but they have a restaurant there too. And it's pretty authentic, probably the most authentic Brazilian food, in my opinion, that you can get in Denver. Perfect. All right, so let me just kind of go through here. I'm going to give you this one because this is the, that coxinha looks, looks a lot better than mine. Than yeah, this one, and no, I want to make one, sure yeah, thank you. <laughs> that you oh, get the a, good one. What a gentleman, guys, everyone. Right. Gentlemen. I'm a, I'm a good host. <laughs> so, all right, so let me just go through real quick what we all have here. So we have cool. coxinha, which, like I said, yours looks a little bit better than mine, but I'm hoping that this is still good. This is called pastel. Pastel, okay. It looks kind of like an empanada. Yeah, that's right? what I was going to say, yeah. Um, we also have stroganoff, chicken stroganoff Ooh. here with batata palia. Yeah. And then we have feijoada. Feijoada looks amazing. Yeah, and it smells, it all smells really good too. I guess first, have you ever had Brazilian food before? Yes and no, because the only thing is Brazilian like steakhouse. Like a like, churrascaria? Yeah, like, yeah, sure. But <laughs> that is, um, they, yeah, they're well known for meat and mm -hmm. like nothing in particular. I've had similar things like this, mm -hmm. but this all seems pretty new other than the empanada looking mm -hmm. one. That looks... Fuego. That looks amazing. It's like teasing me. It's whispering. Okay. All right. So let's start. Let's start with the coxinha. Okay. Okay. So normally they look more like that. They're kind of like teardrop shape. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so it's shredded chicken. It's like a dough on the outside and they have this, this creamy cheese type mm -hmm. of stuff that they put in it too. Oh my god, this is amazing. I just took the biggest bite, but it was still like the best bite that I've ever taken. Um, yeah, that shredded chicken in there, the dough, it's like a pillow in your mouth. <laughs> Take a bite of the cheese down there. Okay. That's, where the, that's the best part. I've said it a bunch on my channel, but coxinha is one of my favorite things from Brazil. This would be dangerous because I, I would only get this. I can see because it's such a quick little to go pick yeah. up really quick. Uh huh. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, very, very good. So, the drink is Guarana. It's a Brazilian soft drink. I think it's a mixture between cream soda and Red Bull. So, okay. Cheers. Let's go. Salud. <laughs> Yeah, that's... It's not a good description. Yeah, yeah, that is, a, <laughs> yeah. that is a good description. Yeah, it has that cream soda with a little kick at the end. Uh -huh. It's like on par with Coke as being the most popular soda. So would people go to this first or Coke, would you say? It depends on the person. What do you what do you like? I like this more than Coke, but... I do I, too. I, I don't like soda very much, but this is... Yeah, this is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you want to try the pastel now? Let's do it. So I think it has the same stuff inside of it. Uh, the same shredded chicken and cheese, so. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is bomb, but still this is, what's this called again? Coxinha. Coxinha. Yeah. Yeah, coxinha's, coxinha's has a piece of my heart right now. <laughs> cool, you ready to get into the, the main event yes, here? Yes, 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 let's right. do it. Let's do the stroganoff first. Okay. Okay, so... Uh-huh, making me wait for... <laughs> <laughs> Save the best for last. Yeah. All right, so this is just a chicken stroganoff. Michelle makes a really good stroganoff. And then, uh, on top of it, you put these uh, potato sticks. It's called batata palia. Batata palia. Oh, wait, batata palia. Yeah. Like but it. they put it on everything. You were mentioning you knew that they put it on hot dogs. Yeah, I've been in Spain and they always put them on, really? yeah, on hot dogs. Yeah. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Spain it's like where my family's from. It's like the only fast food like dish. It's a hot dog with these little things on it. And <laughs> so you already you already know what's up then. Um, yeah, so I've had these before. These okay. are, but not like this. Okay. Not on like a main dish. Yeah. All right, so yeah, let's just uh, go cool. for it. Like, these are my types of dishes, dude. Like, America doesn't have this. Uh -uh. Like, they, this is this is how it should be. Like, this is amazing. This is so delicious. So, like, would you eat this for lunch or, like, dinner only? Or Um, it's usually, like, a dinner thing. 
Yeah. Cool. And these two are like all all day, every mm -hmm. day. I used to eat coxinha for breakfast. Like I would go to my classes and just like get a coxinha <laughs> from the corner. <laughs> I love, what was that coxinha? <laughs> just popping them in. <laughs> And this one is like, you wouldn't necessarily go to a restaurant and order this. You'd like make it at home. I call these like abuelita dishes. Mm -hmm. You know, the dishes your the family makes. Whenever abuelita's cooking in the kitchen, it's gonna be a good time. Is it better than the cochinha or is, are they just different or what? Um, well, the, the good thing about both of them, all the, all the different layers or all the different pieces blend well together. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I mean, they're very different. I can see that on the go. I would eat that all the time. This I would be excited to eat all the time. And I really love, I've never had the little potato chips on top of a dish like this. Mm -hmm. And it adds that crunch. Yeah. And that it's crunch crazy. Is, is, it's really nice. It's and, crazy how much it does add. Like it just adds an, a different layer to mm -hmm. the meal. They put it on pizza. I've seen it on pizza before. If you, anything with like a sauce, it goes really well with the sauce and a meat. And then you add the rice in there and it's just a very... Because it's it's potato chip, right? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. And so like They're really, just really anything, anything potato is usually <laughs> is usually pretty amazing. So yeah. I'm down. All right, let's get to the main event. Dun, 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 dun. This is probably the most famous Brazilian dish, like hearty, you know, meal. And usually you have this on Sunday. Sundays with the family and you know somebody will make it overnight so we got beans obviously and rice um, this is a specific type of uh, vegetable I forget what it's called um, and then on top of it is mm. what is farofa and farofa. farofa is like it has a, like a sandy texture but um, it goes really well with meat and then they have like some sausage inside of is it like a the, cheese no 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 it's like uh, I don't I don't know what to call it. It's, Ooh, okay, I'm yeah. excited. I'm yeah, excited. So just okay. try to get if you can try to get a little bit of everything in, in each bite, and then just tell me what you think. All right. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god, dude! Yes, this is. Let me actually let me let me enjoy this one more <laughs> second. Let me enjoy one more. Take bite. your time. This, just like all the other ones, they just like blend really well together. And like the amount of different textures mm -hmm. that I get in this is incredible. And it does feel like they just sandwiched the salad with the like entree and just like slammed it in there. <laughs> like I feel like I'm getting a salad, like a quick little bite of salad and then From the, the greens? Yeah, from the greens. Yeah. It's such a complete bite. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's good stuff. Honestly, like feijoada is, is never has never been my favorite thing, Brazilian thing to eat, but it's like Michelle's favorite. Why? What's your? Opinion? I don't know. I just I think it's I think it's a really good meal, but I think there's better Brazilian food. Like I would prefer I like stroganoff better than I like feijoada. Also because like I, in Brazil you eat rice and beans every day, almost every meal. Okay, yeah. When you are supposed to have like a special meal, it's like. Oh, it's kind of just glorified rice and beans, but it's gr it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's it's really good, but I just like like other things more. <clears throat> I can I can understand that. Yeah, this is this just reminds me a lot. I mean, the rice and beans. Mm -hmm. My family is Cuban too. Oh my really? Gra my grandparents are from Cuba. Oh, I didn't know that. And so you know, like black beans and rice, like it's great. It's mm -hmm. it's a different style, just like Spanish in general or Portuguese. You know, there's different styles yeah, all yeah, over. Yeah, for sure. It's really good. So it reminds me of home. Can you taste the farofa at all? I don't taste it. It just kind of like, it's sprinkled on every bite. I don't know. It just like, yeah, it's more just like the the little texture yeah, again. Yeah. Like, What's your favorite savory thing that we tried here? Let's see that you can't put that on me. How are you going to make me do that? These are all amazing. I do. I really like the, the, the stroganoff. stroganoff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> ah, flavor wise. Flavor-wise, these two, the coxinha and stroganoff, and stroganoff. All right. but because I'm, I'm like, I like my healthy stuff and beans and this green and like, mm. I feel like this provides everything I need in my diet. It's I feel a very like nutritious meal. I could eat this every day. <laughs> like, I feel like I, if I lived in really? Brazil, I would eat this every day. Hmm. I love it. I really, really like it. Cool. Come on. Well, thanks again for uh, coming for another video, man. Yeah. These are all a blast, and they, you I know, love it. I think my audience, my followers, all love love when you participate in the videos. Ooh. So, 
Thank you. I appreciate that. And I have so much fun doing it with you. And I'm so grateful to learn about just like Brazilian culture too. It's fun, right? It is fun. And everything I've learned, I love it there. And I'm so jealous that you got to live there. Wow. Um, Tá bom, gente. Espero que vocês tenham gostado desse vídeo. Tenho... Espero que vocês tenham uma boa semana e tchau, tchau. Uh -huh.